Come on, you silly sausage. To entertain children can be one of the most rewarding jobs on the face of the earth. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and sausages. No. Yeah. <laughs> He's not there, I'm telling you. I used to be a teacher, but I'm all right now. Um, the pressure and the, the stress and the paperwork of the job was just too much. And then I met Bob and he said to me, come with me and be a clown. So I did. Ladies and gentlemen, sausage and beans. No! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and chickens. No! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Eve's birthday party. Let's give her a big clap. But you don't always do them in the same order. More or less, I do. Well, the last time I saw your show, it wasn't well, the same I was as keeping that. on your toes, you <laughs> <see>. <laughs> Really, you're creating a magic circle almost. You're creating um, the atmosphere for how the magic show will go. If I say, hello, everybody, will you say, hello, Mrs Custard? Will you do that? Oh, excellent. Hello, everybody! Happy birthday! Oh, you clever. It's creating a bond between you, like a family thing almost, isn't mm. it? And, and so much so that when you finish the party, the children say, where are you going? And I say, well, I'm going home now. Why? Are you not staying with us? And and we said, no, I've got to go home and make Mr Custard's tea. Mm. Oh, oh, that's all right then. Bless them. They, they believe in magic. My first show, Bob came along with me, didn't you? Thank goodness. And um, I did the show, but because I was so inexperienced, I had this series of tricks that I did. And instead of it taking half an hour, it took 15, it took 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 right? minutes. And then I'm thinking, how on earth do I fill the next hour? The first one, I put makeup on, which was water-based. Well, I sweat. I'm a very hot person, so I sweat. And I, it just ran, and I looked, looked like Dracula. So just, <laughs> it was a children. nightmare. Well, these are long ones, you see. And because they're long, you've got to give them a really, really good... Ah! <laughs> I put... Ow! <laughs> This boy kept slapping me, and it really stung. And I, I got hold of his hand and I said, please don't slap me, because I don't slap you. And that normally works, but it didn't. And he get the, the, it ended up, there were three of them slapping me. I know. I'll do it that way, OK? You see, you've got to give him a really good stretch. <laughs> so, ow. <laughs> You're on another planet when you're yeah. doing the show, really. Yeah. yeah, you are. Yeah. You're in custard land, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm glad I'm wearing a nose and I don't have to put makeup on. We did deliberately decided not to wear makeup because I teach do the very young children, and children are often easily put off by clowns. So our theory was. If we just get away with the absolute minimum, a red nose and plenty of colour, then we're a nice introduction to clowns without being the scary, because sometimes the children are unsure of the unknown and we just lead them gently and into the, and they'll get ready for the painted clowns. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your thumbs, that's the way the magic comes. Now then, we've got a birthday girl in our midst. Come on, Tony. How old are you, Tony? Five. She's 55. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, just five. What, one, three, seven, twelve? Oh, that five. Do you want to see the monsters in my book? They're scary. But you're too scared of monsters. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. <laughs> well, I am. <laughs> Look, I just, I don't know whether to, you know. What? Damn! They're gone! Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your thumbs. That's the way the pictures come. That's the way the pictures come. You've been doing this before. Let's see if we've got some pictures. <gasps> yeah! Give me 
yourselves a big clap. <laughs> Boys and monkeys. <laughs> no! <laughs> Please give a big clap to Mr. Duck. <laughs> what? Where's the penguin? Not to take yourself too seriously. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. He's not in there, I'm telling you! What's your name? Stephen. What's it? Stephen. How old are you? Seven. It's 27. <laughs> oh, Give us five. Ow. Are you all right to have to see the big magic wand? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's. <gasps> I told you it was big! <gasps> Get it up! How big it is! My goodness gracious! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Give yourselves a big clap! <laughs> right, where's his feet? No, not yours! <laughs> Where's he? That's it. Is he right, fish and chips? Yeah. Oh! At first, I did miss the professional status. When I was teaching full time, parents knew me, and children knew me, and they knew what I was and what I represented. But now I'm established as Mrs. Custard. I don't miss it as much, to be honest. Thank you very much. Give him a big clap. Ready? Are we ready? Da 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 da. And my daughters. They just took it on, oh, didn't they? Yeah. I thought you got it right. The only time they objected was when we said if we got married, we might get married as Mr and Mrs Custard, and that's when they got crossed, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't want that. I just love children and animals, really. But, I mean, you don't entertain animals, but I just love children. You go in and you see the birthday boy, and they're so pleased to see, oh, Mrs Custard, Mr Custard, you come to my party. And how can you not be lifted by yeah. that? Mr. Custard also offers balloon modelling, circus workshops and much, much more. Visit www.kidsentertainer.one or find him on Facebook.